So now let's try to write test for our user model. If I go to user model, you can see we have various methods, but we have not fixed their behavior by just testing them. So let's write a test. So go to test and this time not on feature, but on unit. So we have this example test. I will rename it to user test and example test to user test change it okay so test and test will be simple that it has otp key or firstly yeah let's first assert this one it has otp key so it has uh, cache key for otp so here we are asserting that this cache key are available so this is going to use by a user so we need a user factory user class create and we know let's just say user arrow otp key and let's see what will be the result and we have some problem it says something uh, no user table because now we need to use the database migration so it is good once more run the test and yeah we have this so actually this we need to assert and this assert equals and equals of this thing is always equal to otp underscore for for underscore one because we are using uh, database migration so it will run fresh database every time so every time we use this so it will be the first user so that's why we have one here it will be always first in test obviously so this we have asserted so let's run the test and we will get green great next the important uh, part of this user model is sending this otp so let's now write a test that it can send otp notification to the user simple one so again we have a user like this with a factory of user i think we have missed it ah yes so here and create so we have done with the user and now what we need a user can send otp so this is good so this behavior is working absolutely fine but we have to pass something on the send otp which is via so let's for now i will say via sms we know this will be the case so yes it is working but we don't have any assertion so what actually doing here we are sending a notification so we need to assert for the notification so first thing what we are going to do we are going to say notification and make sure this has to be support facade notification and then fake so we have fake notification and we are sending it then we will say notification then send or we can say assert send to and this time we firstly need to give an array to whom we have to send this notification which is the current user and then uh, then we need to say which notification so notification is otp notification class okay so this is done and run it and yes we have this and if we comment this out run the previous test it fails it says no otp notification is not sent here so this is the very important test but what if i assert mail but you know because we are using otp notification why not move this mail system to the notification and we don't have to do this so what actually we i am talking about is that whenever i go to send otp we have this via method so why not pass this via method to our notification and obviously we have not implemented the sending 
exact OTP with SMS. We have done with sending SMS only. So we need to send the OTP also. So we will say OTP, but OTP is from cache the OTP. So we will say OTP is equal to cache the OTP and then we are notifying the user. So in that case, we don't have to use these things. But in order to use notification to send mail also, we firstly go to the notification and here, apart from this, we have to say comma and then we will say mail and here comes the to mail part. But how we can send our blade file of uh, email because we have modified something if you go to the otp.blade you can see we have sent your otp is otp so that is capital one thing is that so that has to be capital so like the otp uh, first thing done so yeah this is good so we need to use that markdown mail label here how we can do that so let's go to the documentation. So I will say notification Laravel documentation and here I will say markdown mail notification and here if we want to use the markdown we need to use this kind of uh, method and simply we need to say here this and let's just comment these things. So here we are going to pass OTP. So OTP will be like OTP. And okay, so here it's not mail invoice paid, it's just OTP, which is actually the otp.blade.php, the first one. Second one is the actual OTP number. Okay, so next we have to accept because in our user model we are sending two things via and uh, OTP. So first thing, uh, let's go here and I will say public uh, via and public and that has to be like public and OTP. So let's use these things on the constructor because these are required from external world. So this arrow via is equal to via and this arrow OTP is equal to OTP and obviously we need to check via which method I'm going to send the uh, OTP. So first thing we have a this arrow OTP and then we will give a question mark and then it will be like if OTP is equal to via sms then send from sms otherwise send from email okay and this thing this type of system we will get from our uh, notification where we will get we will get on sms part so actually it's given here so you can see it is like this so we have done that so now we need to pass the otp uh, from our mail and this is actually this arrow OTP and one thing more we need to pass OTP from our SMS content so I will simply call this as your OTP for login is and then I will say this arrow OTP and let's use double quotes so that we can use this as an inline like this okay so these things are good and now we have migrated from sending normal mail to a notification and this time let's go and if I run it it is still working so we can just delete these things and we can just test it uh, manually so let's go firstly we need to start the server so pa uh, php artisan serve and let's open the local host login and sarthak at bitfumes password is secret via email and yeah 
on our mail oh we have some problem we have some problem <laughs> it says undefined variable otp we have given that but we are not getting so you can see i think you have probably seen the problem it's a small otp so let's capitalize it and once more go refresh this page and we should get otp and i think we have not done that so once more retry okay so and with via email send it and it's taking time this means it is sending the email so we are getting the email yay <laughs> so otp is here and verify right correct it is done so this means we have successfully migrated from mailing part to notification part and now in the next episode we will finally finalize the sending sms otp and login with uh, sending the otp on sms so if you have liked this episode please go and subscribe to this channel if you have already not uh, subscribed and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notification you can also follow me on twitter facebook instagram wherever you want and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye